I'm getting here, essentially, the gist of this message is that I'm getting here that there is this group of people that think they're going to get away with what they did against you. Capricorn, there's a group of people here in your read. This read is really specific. Something weird going on here. I feel like I'm putting the puzzle pieces together, but it's like still it's scrambled all over the place. It's like a thousand puzzle pieces. And I feel like I only put a hundred together. Like there's still 900 more to go. But there's a younger woman there, or this could even be somebody's daughter. But this younger woman and this older woman, this is strange. I need to see the other cards, because the devil... What about this? Hello Capricorn, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Star Seaside here. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and join the Soul Tribe. We have a read for you guys, okay? This is whatever comes up. This is a general read. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind. Crosswashers, you are welcome. This message is also timeless. Personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below. I want to thank everyone for all the support. And with all that out of the way, we're going to get started. Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders, guidance in this read for my Capricorns. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial light. So Capricorn, what is going on here? We have Scorpio, upside down, death, judgment, in reverse. Pluto retrograde, then we have the Sun, Leo. That's the Sun card and the Strength card. Then we have number 7 on the side, the Chariot on the side. Cancer energy, the Moon. There could be some card repairs that somebody's going to have to make here within these next two weeks so just watch out for that that's not going to be for everybody we have the page of pentacles at the bottom and we have the empress We have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Two of Pentacles. This is strange. I need to see the other cards, because the Devil... What about this Devil? Knight of Cuffs on the side. Six of Swords on the side. King of Wands. There's, because the page of walls is going to be at the bottom. There's like all these different energies, Capricorn, Eight of Wands. Temperance, the Hangman, clarify that, the card on the side, Three of Pentacles on the side, Eight of Swords. Capricorn, there's a group of people here. In your read, this read is really specific. This read is very specific. Yeah, I had to cut off the read because I started coughing and had a little bit of a wheezing. I don't know where that came from. But there's a group of people here. I don't know if they stole something from you, if, they're, if they stole inheritance or if they're plotting to. Or if they're trying to steal a home, an estate, okay, or a farm. Or they did some type of crime against you, gang stalking, I don't know. I'm getting here, essentially, the gist of this message is that I'm getting here that there is this group of people that think they're going to get away with what they did against you. And I'm not seeing that here. I'm not seeing that. On the contrary, I see these energies are panicking. Okay, this Queen of Swords, this Page of Pentacles... This King of Wands, this Knight of Cups on the side. Like, these four energies, it's like four main people. Like, they know they're about to get locked up. 
or they know that that's how it ends with the devil and the eight of swords because they try to take this ten of pentacles i don't know if they stole an inheritance or if they falsified mortgage documents or financial documents to get an apartment okay to get a condo but that's illegal that's illegal y'all falsifying mortgage documents or falsifying pay stubs and whatnot that is illegal and the feds are watching i'm telling y'all the feds are watching the feds will literally bring in audio recordings from 10 years ago they will bring in photos from 20 plus years ago of these people at like the gas station uh, i'm telling y'all one, one, one day once they summon you to court it's over you know they they have all types of photos and audio recordings all types messages now with you know the iphone and the androids they have access to it all there there's a group of four people here that did something that they shouldn't have done <clears throat> You see the coughing the coughing is coming up again they don't want to speak they're they're not they don't want to get caught for this capricorn these people are never going to speak the truth to the authorities it's always going to be a runaround if the authorities try to approach this these people this person they're just going to lie and say oh no it was that person over there or no you heard wrong it was over here it, it, it was that individual i even feel like they're they, they could be trying to throw you under the bus Clarify spirit. That that's what it almost seems to me. Judgment and the ace of wands. They think they're gonna get away with this, and how they think they're gonna get away with this is by bringing false accu accusations to you, or claiming to the authorities. But because I'm telling you, the police have already not. I'm telling you, th this group of people. I feel it in my soul and in my heart. The police have already knocked on their door once to speak to them, to gather information. That there's some type of ongoing investigation here. And that these individuals or this person is a prime suspect of something, some type of highness, illegal activity. I'm telling you, they, they got a knock. Somebody here got a knock by the police. But they really went, Capricorn, and tried to th tried to throw your name under the bus. They went and pointed in your direction. So that isn't a crime. That's a crime in itself. Falsely accusing somebody. Because you are an innocent man, innocent woman. Whoever you are, love, you are innocent. But there, there was a group here that's doing an investigation... And they went, somebody went and knocked on one of these four, one of their doors. And this person really went and threw you under the bus. They sealed their fate with that judgment. They made a very careless mis uh, mistake, very careless decision here. These are these energies that they throw the stone and then hide their hand. <coughs> and I'm getting such bad fro chakra attack in this read. The eight of swords at the bottom, they, they want to get you locked up. They want to throw the false accusations your way. Eight of wands, hangman, temperance, three of pentacles on the side. Two of Pentacles. Like a Queen of Swords here. Like, I don't know why, but I heard like older woman with this Queen of Swords. Like this Queen of Swords here is really trying to weigh her options. This is a woman that I'm picking up on. This woman is really trying to weigh her options as to like... It, it's something here. Like, this is really specific. This is really, really specific. This is not for everybody. Please do not take this if this is not your story, okay? Because what I'm getting here is like this woman is like, she's debating and and like I really get like this is some type of mother figure or an aunt or a grandma. Like she's really debating and then there's a younger woman there. 
I don't know if this is like somebody's sister or somebody's ex-girlfriend, ex-wife. But there's a younger woman there. Or this could even be somebody's daughter. But this younger woman and this older woman, like they're trying to come to a decision about you. Like how they're going to, like it really feels to me like how they're going to get rid of you. How they're going to have you locked up. Like they can't, they can't have you walking out here freely or something. Like they feel like you're, you're a liability. Like you, some of you have spoken out against this or some of you have already gotten the authorities involved. And so now these people are trying to see if they can do like some type of dark magic to make it look like an accident or something to get rid of you. Look, look what came up. I'm telling y'all. And look what's at the bottom. Look what's at the bottom. I'm telling y'all. I'm trying to tell y'all. They're, they're trying to figure out how they can put the ten swords through your back. And have you arrested. Have you locked away. So that they can run freely. And, and cause chaos and destruction. Yep, eight of swords. I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell you. It's four main energies, Capricorn. It's four main energies. And they're all collaborating. I feel like a police report was made here, y'all. Over you. I, I feel like these people went to make a police report. This King of Wands especially. And now they have some type of... Thanks to these false allegations, now these, now these authorities, certain authority figures, they are watching you. They are keeping track of you. They're observing you. I'm hearing here that there's going to be some type of some type of trial here where they're going to bring in a witness. And this is going to be about you. You, you don't even know that this is going on, but they're, they're going to hold a court trial here where it's some type of, I don't know if this is like a preliminary trial or something. I'm not too sure, but they're bringing in a witness who is going to corroborate the evidence that these four are claiming. Okay, the, the evidence that these four, the accusations that these four are claiming that you have done against them or something, a crime that you have done. And so there's going to be something here, some type of trial where they're collaborating with a fifth person. And this fifth person is like, yeah, I, I got you guys. Don't worry. I know the story. But you see, for some of you, this already happened because I'm hearing that this trial was a bust. Like this witness who decided to work against these individuals to try to bring a case against you. Like the judge and the courtroom, they, they realized right when this witness started speaking that this was a bust or that this is going to be a bust. Because this witness, like everything that they're saying is going to like not match up to what these people are trying to accuse you of. The accusations that they're trying to put on you. This either already happened or this is going to happen. Seven of Pentacles. I'm telling you, they they really gathered evidence here. But this also feels like inheritance, stolen money, hundreds of thousands of dollars just stolen, spent. Your your money, Capricorn. They stole it. They spent it. I'm I'm telling y'all, they took that money. They spent so much of it. Some of you, there was a million there or, or more than a million, and they, they may have blew 70,000 or 700,000. I'm telling you that these people got a knock. These people, these persons, they got a knock. I'm telling y'all, they literally got a knock. And when they were questioned, they, they were asked certain questions in regards to an ongoing investigation, but they went and pointed the finger over at you. Like, oh, you need to check up on this person. This person's really susp suspicious. We think it's this person that, that's been doing what you are claiming in regards to your investigation, officer. It could have even been a federal agent. There's something weird going on here. I feel like I'm putting the puzzle pieces together, but it's like still, it's scrambled all over the place it's like a thousand puzzle pieces and i feel like i only put a hundred together like there's still 900 more to go but this is the gist of it 
there is some type of trial here that already happened or is about to occur where they, these people have brought a witness to testify against you in front of a judge, okay, in the court, the court of law. And I really feel like this is being done to see if a warrant can be issued for your arrest. But the moment that this witness starts speaking or this, the moment that this, this witness started speaking, everybody's going to realize that this is a flop, that this is a hoax, that this is fake, or that this is a setup, or that this is completely off guard, or they already realized that it was a bust. Because nothing that this witness is saying is adding up to what these four original, I'm just going to call them karmics, these four karmics, whoever they are, Whatever they told the, the judge and whatnot, the authorities about you, like this witness is not corroborating the evidence, it's not matching up. Even in this read, I feel like I can't channel the words, like I sound kind of confusing or I sound like all over the place. And I feel like I'm picking up on this witness's energy or their future energy. Because for some of you, this already happened. Like there was literally a trial and they were about to issue a warrant or something for y'all's arrest. The Magician, <clears throat> Queen of Wands. So here it is. There's five people all together. A Queen of Wands, a King of Wands, a Queen of Swords, a Page of Pentacles, and a Knight of Cups on the side. Five people. Six people, even if we count the Magician as a person. But this Queen of Wands with the Magician, that's somebody that's doing spell work. These people think in Four of Cups. You see, this Queen of Wands is not satisfied with the results. This Queen of Wands really thought that you would either be unalive by now with all the black magic or that you would be behind bars right now. This is a past life karmic. This is a past life enemy of yours that you have always, you have always defeated this enemy, Capricorn. That's why this karmic, this Queen of Wands specifically, is going hard in the paint, so to speak. This karmic wants to get the victory this lifetime. This is past life. I'm telling you, this goes back past life. You were out on the battlefield. You defeated this enemy. You slew this enemy, this dragon, this beast, out in the battlefield in a past life and liberated and brought freedom to your town, to your tribe, or to your city because this was a destructive force. So this Queen of Wands and this King of Wands, because this King of Wands is tied to this Queen of Wands, they're going hard in the paint. That's a karmic couple. And then this Queen of Swords is somebody's older mother or like an aunt or a grandma, an older woman. And that Page of Pentacles, that's some younger feminine energy. The Knight of Cups on the side is another man, a younger man. He could have tattoos on his right arm. Like tribal looking tattoos or something. But these people have a huge wake up call coming because they're the ones that are going to be arrested. Four of swords on the side. They know. They're, they're, they're iffy. A part of them feels like they can still get you locked up with these false allegations. But, an, but another part of them feels like they're running out of time. Somebody may unalive themselves, I'm telling you, to escape conviction. Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. They run out of time, y'all. They run out of time. <laughs> They ran out of time, y'all. There was a certain time frame where I feel like they were never going to be successful, but they had a certain amount of time. And it was like once it got to past a certain point, like that's when it was all over and it's gotten past that point. The Wheel of Fortune, the wheel is in your favor, Capricorn. Empress.
I can't say too much. The, again, I cannot say too much. Yeah, King of Swords here. That's an older man, an older man, and he is with that Queen of Swords, and he's telling them, Yep, I had to cut off again. I don't know why I'm getting all these Froze Chakra blocks. But this older man told them, I'm like, hey, we, we ran out of time. We were, we're F-U-C-K-E-D. Capricorn's going to put us all in the in the gutter. Like, this is what this King of Swords is telling everybody. Like, we missed our chance. We missed our shot. You know too much. They want to get away with their wickedness. They want to get away with whatever they were doing here. And you are a liability. You can't be around because you know too much. That's just the, the, the point of it. Nothing you say to them or explain to them. There, there's no peace offering here with these energies. There's no truce. These are literally demons. You cannot make a truce with a demon. There, you know, there's no truth in a demon. You know, what's the truth in a demon? That they're being deceptive, and you know they're being deceptive? These are literally demons. These people are possessed. They, they sold their soul. Their soul is long gone. And there is no peaceful, you know, timeline here where you and them are able to come into peace. There, there's none of that. There is none of that. That is never going to happen. Not this lifetime. Because they are going to start doing their black magic. And rituals and God knows what else. Animal sacrifices even, I heard. Yeah, I heard dogs and cats. Like th These people are long gone. So that's why they are going so hard. To have you be the one that's arrested. Knight of Wands. Page of Pentacles. The Tower. Justice. It was up to eight people. Because we have a Knight of Wands here and a Page of Pentacles. Eight people. All plotting to do this. And you see two of them. Two of them are about to get arrested. Capricorn, and I'm going to get an iMessage notification when I said that. Two of the flunkies. You see, these were two hooligans. These were two flunkies. They didn't realize what they were getting caught up in. You know, they just went along for the ride. They thought there was money in it for them and whatnot. But they were just like the scapegoats. But you know what? That's what they get. That's what they get for being dumb and siding with the enemy. So they're the first two that are going to be arrested. And you're going to hear about this. You're going to hear about these two and how they got arrested. And this, these, the six remaining individuals, they're going to be shook to their very core. They're going to know that it's, it's, it's over. It's over. And they're blaming you for it. And that's why I'm saying there's no truce with these people because they know what they did. They know. But they are not the problem. You, Capricorn, are the problem because you know what they did. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? They don't care to do right by you. That's not what this is about. They want to be evil. They want to be evil. I'm telling y'all, they want to be a demon so bad. Like, they are desperate to be a demon. They're desperate to go down to hell and be Satan's, you know, right-hand man. I'm telling y'all, these energies, they are desperate for it. They are desperate to go back home to hell. They love being like this. Now, why did this have to happen? Well, this earth is a video game for God and the devil, right? It's a video game, good versus evil. You know, these higher dimensional spirits, people get mad at me when I say this, but it's the truth. This is a show. This is a video game. That's why video games and TV shows and movies, they're the biggest thing on this planet. You know, the entertainment industry, video game industry. <coughs> Our reality is based off of these things. Queen of Wands. Look at this Queen of Wands. You see, and she wants to be, she wants to win at all costs with the Five of Swords. I'm telling you. I'm trying to tell you. There's a Karmic Leo here, or an Aries, or a Sagittarius, or she embodies this fire energy. 
or she embodies the fire of hell. You know, this could be one of those fire demons, like Moloch. But this woman, she is so intent at winning at all costs. She wants to win against you so bad, but her victory is near and dear with the Two of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. She really thought she was going to get it, but look what's, what's going to be there at the end, Nine of Swords. So, I feel like a lot of you don't even know that this is happening. <coughs> I feel like a lot of you don't even know that this is happening, that this has been going on, that there was a trial or there's about to be a trial and they're bringing in a witness to testify against you, to corroborate evidence that these four hooligans, the four initial hooligans are bringing against you. Like, I feel like you don't even know this. But I'm telling you, when they do that initial trial investigation, they're going to realize that this witness is a bust, that this is a flop, that this investigation isn't going nowhere, that you are not, you know, you are not the lead that they need. And they may even see that, wait a minute, you were trying to falsely accuse this person? They may get a little slap in the wrist, but trust and believe. They thought they were going to get away with this, but eventually it's going to come back to bite them in the ASS. They just did th th this. This is a spiritual war. They delayed their fate by doing this. But you see, when push came to shove, when they were put in the spotlight to bring the evidence, the true evidence that you were the criminal, they flopped. And that's what the judge saw, or that's what the judge is about to see with their witness. So then, how much time do they have to regroup, to rethink a new strategy? They don't have time. They've run out of time. So these people thought they were going to get away with whatever they did here, whatever shenanigans... But they're about to know that it's over. And I'm going to get a Magic Awaken Harry Potter app notification. I'm telling you. One day they're going to wake up and all that magic they were doing, that's going to come to its end. Because the feds are going to be there. The police are going to be there to arrest their, to arrest their ASSES and put them where they rightfully belong. Because I'm telling you, these people, these are demons. These are demons. They've been so they're so Y'all, don't, don't feel sorry. Don't feel bad. That, that's a whole demon. You don't need to feel bad for the devil. You don't need to feel bad. You know, I know your card is the devil, right? But I'm not referencing that, right? Like, these people are literally demonic in nature. They want to be a demon. They want to be evil so, so bad. They want to go outside. So let them go outside and don't feel sorry. Rejoice, Capricorn, when you hear that they have been locked away for X amount of years. Rejoice. Go out and celebrate. Cheer, laugh, praise the Most High God, that justice, that retribution. That these enemies of yours have finally been convicted for their crimes, their highness, evilness, and wickedness that they have been committing. Because they're only going to keep doing it. That, that's the other part of the read that I got, that they're just going to keep doing more evil and wicked stuff. As long as they can get away with it. So eventually, it was going to come to pass. But uh, that is your read. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I wish you the best of luck and I wish you love and light. Take care.